Hey guys, today I want to show you how to take an image from Pixlr.com and get it into your Google Drive or into your Google Classroom account. So this is a common problem or it's one that I've come across a little bit lately doing a digital photo editing unit in my IT module at school. And so let's talk about it. Let's take a look at what's going on here. So let's start by opening an image from computer and I'm going to open this little masterpiece created by one of my students. Love this, love the political humor here. And so here's the image and let's say I'm working on it but I'm not quite finished and I actually want to work on it at home on another device. Uh, and let's say that I was using a school device, a lab computer or a Chromebook that stays at school or something like that. And so I need to get it up into the cloud in order to be able to edit it further at home before submitting. Okay, are you with me? So I'm going to go over to the menu where it says File and Save. And this is fairly standard procedure for most programs, most applications. And right here, see this quality slider? I always move this over to 100. I'm not sure why the default is 80. Maybe it's just to save space or something like that. And then the default setting over here is my computer. Now I'm going to ignore the Pixlr cloud for now, partly because I don't really have it figured out. But let's go over to my computer and hit OK. And you can see I've got the file path set up just the way that I want it. So I've actually already got this image. Do I want to replace it? Sure, why not? It's the same image, haven't changed it. And now I've got it on my computer. But the tricky thing we came across at my school is that if you save images on the, the desktop computer in a computer lab, it may have a policy of being wiped clean every time someone logs off, in which case you will lose your image and you also won't be able to access it from home. So we need to get that image into your Google Drive. So how do we do that? Here is your Google Drive, right? You're all familiar with this. I happen to have no files in this particular version of Google Drive or this particular account. And that's perfect, we've got a clean slate here, no distractions, so how do I get that image there? I just click New, and then File Upload. And that's going to let me explore my computer for the image that I want. There it is, Open. And down here you're going to see that, can I move, okay. So down here you're going to see that it's uploading. Less than a minute left, okay, now it's there. You can see it, it's in my Google Drive. Now I can access it from anywhere Obviously, it's in the cloud. I can access it from any device, um, you know, phone, mobile, laptop, anywhere that you have an internet connection, right? One more step. How do we get it from your Google Drive into Classroom? Well, let's go into the demo classroom, and here I've given myself an assignment. So there are a couple of ways to upload the image here. I can click the Add button. In this case, I'm not going to go to Google Drive only because I actually saved it in a different Google Drive account. But I should be able to go into my computer and that is where I click the File button. And then it gives me this option, select files from your computer. And there it is in my computer. Now, if you were following the instruction that I gave earlier, you would select this, uh, My Drive, and if you're using the same account, uh, if, you're, if you're using the same account for your Google Classroom that you also save the image in, you would just add from your Google Drive. So you just click Add, and then go to Google Drive, and there it would be. And, oh, okay. And so we would just add. Oh, I've already added it on this assignment. Okay, so there you have it. And then you turn in. And there it is. So, quick demo on how to save and upload files. Uh, save files from Pixlr.com and then how to upload them in your Google Drive. And then how to submit them on Google Classroom. Hope that all made sense. I made it slightly more confusing than I should have by using two different Google Drive accounts there, but I think that should all make sense to you. Let me know if you still have any questions. I'll be happy to help you out.